Hello everyone. So this is what happens when I this is what happened when I called um, Columbia Records. Um, by the way, if you guys do not know, um, it takes you to like an operator um, who answers the phone, um, says, "Where can I guide you to?" And then they will guide you to wherever you need to go, um, just like a normal company. So I called. Um, Columbia Records, and it took me to their main operator, to their main line. I um, asked for, um, hey, can I get clarification on this phone number? Um, I'm trying to get clarification if this is really Grace Vanderwall. Well, believe it or not, they said, here, um, can we get the number that you're talking to? I gave them the number, and what ended up happening here was they told me, yeah, that is her number. It shows up here in our book, whatever, their contact book, contact list, that yes, that is Grace Vanderwall's real, real number. And then I told them, you know, hey, can you guys put this situation public? They said, I'm sorry, but we do not normally put situations public. Um, we do not normally, when it comes to collaborations, don't really make it public. And I'm like, what? Um, so that's really confusing because, yeah, Grace has really never showed her face, nothing. Um, we've been doing a lot of communication through text. I told Columbia that, and they said, well, that's kind of her choice. Well, there is this thing in this world called freedom of speech, which is true. If she doesn't want to show her face, she doesn't have to. Um, I will make another video, um, a part two to this, so please stay tuned. Um, this is part one. Please stay tuned for part two.